In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a blog to your WordPress website. Adding a blog to your website will help drive traffic to the website. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to add a blog to my WordPress website, the first thing I need to do is create a page for the blog. This page will host every single blog post I will be creating on the website. So to create the page, I can just hover on new, then I click on page. You can easily go to the back end and create a page from there. Either way, they will all take you to the same place. In here, I enter the title of my page. I will just call it blog. Then I go ahead and click on publish. Publish. The page is saved, but there is nothing on it as yet. Now if I right click on view page, open link in the new tab, you see I don't have anything there because I've not started creating my blog post. Even if I begin to publish my blog post, they will appear here. And the reason is that this page is not being assigned to host our blog post. Going back, the next thing I want to do is assign the page as my blog post page. To do that, I hover on settings, then I click on reading. Under your home page displays, you see that a static page is selected. Under that, we have post page. Drop down the arrow, then you go ahead and choose the page we have just created. That is the blog page. Going down, I click on save changes. So now our page is being set as the default blog post page. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. With that out of the way, the next thing I want to do is start publishing my blog post. To do that, I hover on post, then I go ahead and click on add new post. Under add title, I enter the title of my blog post. I already have the blog post I want to add to my website. This is just a sample blog post. So the first thing I do is copy the title. Then I come back here and paste it in. Next, I enter the main content of the blog post. So I'll come back here and copy what I want to add as my blog post. Maybe up to this point, I copy it. Coming back in here, I paste. Perfect. You see that I've labeled the headings of my blog post. So let me quickly show you how we can achieve that. The first one, which is introduction to blogging, is going to be a h2 heading so i will just remove the h2 i don't really need that take note it is selected i click on paragraph icon right here then i choose heading and by default it is set to a2 the next one what is blogging is going to be h3 heading so i remove h3 right here i click on paragraph heading by default it will give me h2 what i need to do is click on the h2 right here then I choose a tray. Similarly, I do the same thing to the rest of the headings. I'll do this pretty quick and get back to you. All right, I am done customizing my headings. Next thing I want to do is go over to post. Going down, I can set categories for my post. I'll just go ahead and click on add new category and I'm going to enter blogging. Since this particular blog post is talking about blogging, I click on add new category. It is added and also selected. Next, I have tags. I can use tags to add keywords that are related to my blog. So I can say blogging. I'll leave these two for now. Take note, you can add as many tags as you want. Even the categories, you can add as many categories as you want. Next, I have featured image. This is the image that will display alongside with your blog post. So let's set one for our blog post. If you don't have your image uploaded to your media library, you, you can easily go to upload files and go ahead and select your files. Since I have an image I want to use, I'll just choose it from my media library. Then I go ahead and click on set featured image. All is set. I click on publish and publish to save my work. It is published. Now if I go to the front end of my website, take note I'm on the blog page. I refresh and you see that I have my blog right here. Awesome. 
So that's it on how you can publish a blog post on your website. The next thing we want to do is make sure that visitors of our website can have access to the blog page when they visit our website. At the moment, I'm only seeing it because I visited the page. Anybody else that comes to the website will not be able to access this simply because it's not being shown as a menu or a link on my website. So let's go ahead and add it to our menu so that users can easily have access to it. To do that, I go to the back end of my website, then I hover on appearance, click on menus. Take note, I'm going to add it to my secondary menu. You can decide to add it to whichever menu you want. At the moment, my secondary menu is selected and you can switch to different menus depending on the number of menus you have on your website. So what I need to do is search for the page blog from here. If I cannot see it, I can also go to view all and I have the page right here. I can easily select it. Then I go ahead and click on add to menu. It is added. I'm going to rearrange it and I want order tracking to be the last menu. So I'll just drag and drop it right here so that the blog page will be in between contact us and other tracking. All is set. I click on save menu. Now, if I go to the front end of my website and refresh, you see that I now have the blog link as part of my menu. If I go to any page of the website, maybe the home page, you see that I have it there. So any page I visit on my website, I'll still see it as part of my menu and users can easily have access to it just by clicking on it. Perfect. With this, you can add as many blog posts to your website in order to drive traffic to your website. So that's it on how you can add blog to your WordPress website. Now, if you want to learn how to use AI to come out with blog posts for your website, stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I'll see you there.